Again, uh, with another Sunday Bam podcast. How you doing, my people? Always much respect to y'all, man. Now, we go get into some things with the supposed be Hamas releasing Israelites, you know, captives. That's it. You know, hostage, basically. We're going to talk about it because I already told you the world is a stage. All of this shit right here show you this is not a war, people. It's a fake shit for the dumb masses. So, they, of course, the Hamas kidnap all these Israelites and now give them back to cease fire. And I'm going to ask you a question. How can you have a supposed to be cease fire in a real war? You can tell both sides to stop firing, stop war for a few days. Come on, people. You have to understand this is not a real war. This is a destruction for the masses. 100% room of war. Pay attention here. The breaking news this hour, an outpouring of emotion here in Israel mm -hmm. as Hamas releases 24 hostages. Mm -hmm. And of course, 24 for your number six calling. Like I say, people, why would Hamas kidnap these, these Israelites? That's what start the supposed to be war, people. So you kidnap them to start the war and then give them back to stop the war. Come on, people. It makes no sense. Why did they kidnap the Israelites to begin with? Make sense to you? Listen here. Back on October 7th, mm -hmm. CNN's Matthew Chan says details, including a closer look at the video Hamas mm -hmm. released of the hostage handoff so there you inside go. Gaza. And it's always Hamas releasing these videos, people. Where? Where is the Hamas releasing these videos? They release videos of them coming in on power gliders and took the hostage. The Hamas released those people. Unbelievable. And even released videos of the hostages telling you they're okay. What kind of shit is this, people? What kind of war? It's fake shit for the masses. They Take a look at this, people, and you tell me if this is not a big old show they have for the masses. There you go right there. The Hamas got the mask on. Unbelievable fake shit. And yes, hand out the Israelites back to the Israel. You believe it, people? Take a look at this. These are the supposed be terrorists that are going around invading countries in power gliders and take people's hostage. Yes, you just come, you just let them come back and let back the hostage go right there. You have a hostage exchange. Come on, people, this is dumb. Now, listen, remember, the Hamas supposedly attack Israel, invade them and take their citizens out and hold them hostage. Now, they're trying to tell you that they, Hamas going to release some prisoners for what, people? Tell you what. Tell me why. Because they also got some prisoner from the Hamas. So yes, people, they're exchanging prisoners here. Pay attention. So look, the woman and children is the one that captured from Israel. And then they got some men and some soldiers that was captured from the Hamas. All bullshit, people. You have to wake your ass up. None of it is real. Hoax on. Pay attention here. Look, now Hamas is look showing people, it's old women and kids, that's what they kidnap. How they get a hold of these old people and kids so fast, coming on power glide and grab them and run? It makes no sense, people. The whole thing is trash. You have to put it in your mind that it is a hoax. 100% hoax. Releasing look at Israelis this. in Gaza. And look how they look, people. They was on a captivity, all by the Hamas, the terrorists. Look at them, people. They clean. Not even a scratch on them. Nothing to show that they was held captive. What a joke right here, Releasing people. They're coming Israelis out of a minivan. Many, wow. These are disturbing scenes. Look, people, of course, it's a disturbing scene. They're faking you with man with black mask on and a green headband tie around the head, people. It's fake shit. Come on, man. What's going on here? And like I say, it's my job right here to prove to you that these things is 100% hoax. You can't let it butter down your brain for you to believe in this shit. It's a government operation. Pay attention. Nine look old. at this right here, people. What? A nine-year-old. And look at this, people. Look at the terrorist, people. <laughs> Unbelievable. What kind of flag is that with the pyramid on the side? Pay attention right here, people. This look like a terrorist to you. This look like a regular soldier. He's just the mask on. He ain't no different from the, from the supposed to be soldiers in Israel. You better wake your ass up. What is the black mask for to prove that it is a terrorist? It's TV. 100% and take a look at this boy, 9 year old, another coding again. Pay attention, people. He was held hostage. Look at him. I'm done, man. 
Why would you believe this shit? What they do, they take them with change of clothes or they give them some new clothes? They capture for over 40 something days, people. So what happened? They take their clothes and wash it and make them clean so they can go back home? Wow, so now it's the hostage and off. You clean them up or give them some brand new gear? Come on, people. These people never hold hostage. The whole thing is a damn hoax. Bam on. Oh, had Munda being embraced as he's set free. Mm -hmm. Look at this shit, people. Look at this shit. Embraced as he's set free. Look, people. Look at these people that was held captive. Unbelievable fake shit. Why would you believe it, people? Wow. Take a look. An old woman. Look. Being carried by look. a masked man. There you go. Carried by a masked man. The whole thing is a show, people. There go your terrorists right there. There go your terrorists. They broadcast everything they do, even the captures. And now they're broadcasting them, giving back the hostage. They carry them in the hand. What a joke, people. And who is these people? Those are the Hamas. Unbelievable it's bullshit. Palestinians cheer. And Palestinians cheer. The Palestinians them cheer because they're giving back the Israelites prisoners. What a joke. And look at the Red Cross right there. Pay attention, people. The whole thing is a show for the dumb people on earth. Mm -hmm. The 49 long days of captivity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 49, God. four nines, you know, that's 36 calling. Pay attention. Uh, eight mm -hmm. workers from the Red Cross drive them through the border yeah, into Egypt. always Red Cross. It's bullshit. Mm -hmm. Egyptian, Egyptian television shows a convoy of vehicles mm -hmm. heading to the crossing. Yes, that's what they show on television. Tell your yai vision. All they do is tell you lie. That's it. Pay attention. Then the hostages, including 10 Thais, mm -hmm. the Filipino, Listen. and the 13 Israeli women and children. Go back again. Convoy of vehicles Listen. heading to the crossing. Then the mm -hmm. hostages, including 10 Thais. 10 Thais, people from Thai. They take 10 people from Thai. Listen. Filipino and the and even Filipino, even Filipino prisoners, our captive was dear people. You believe it? And then the rest of them Israelites. Move! Teen Israeli women and children disembarking for checks. Why would they just take women and children, people? As soon as you come in Israel on the power glider, all you see is children and women. So you just grab them. It's fake shit, people. Israeli oh. military posted this grainy video mm -hmm. of the Look. moment they all finally re-entered mm -hmm. the country. Of course you're going to mention grainy video is fake shit for the masses. A step, says the Israeli Prime Minister, mm -hmm. towards Look at this. bringing all hostages home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and take a look at this damn fake array here. Like I say, don't believe in them. They're part of the world stage for the masses' destruction 100% in. And this Saddamite, they call him Yahoo. Listen, his name, <laughs> this is the dumbest shit in the world, people. His name is Net Yahoo. Yahoo, like the website, like the, the email. And his name got the, the net in it, people. Net, like the web. <laughs> you don't get it, people. It's a fucking faker. 100% with the two permit behind him. The same thing they used to make that Israelite sign. Mm -hmm. We have just completed the return of the first of our hostages. Bullshit. Children, their mothers Bullshit. and additional women. Each one of them is a whole world. Mm -hmm. But I emphasize to you, the families, and to you, citizens of Israel, mm -hmm. we are committed to return all our hostages. Mm -hmm. Most of the hostages this. released look in this. this first group under mm -hmm. the temporary truce were taken from near Oz, one of the small Israel... And take a look at this right here, people. This is what they give you for the war. They show you these so-called cars and tell you, yes, they got bombed. Door open, no wheels on it. It's just a stage for the masses. You will never get it. No doubt about it. The whole thing is a hoax, people. Nothing real about it. Now they're supposed to be exchanging prisoners. What a joke. The communities near mm -hmm. Gaza ravaged by Hamas there you on go. October the mm -hmm. 7th. Mm -hmm. At least 38 people there were killed mm -hmm. and more than 70 abducted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look People like this. Danielle mm -hmm. Aloni and her five-year-old daughter, mm -hmm. Emilia, both freed in this latest release. There you go, but people. The relatives These people was captured by a mass and now they're free, celebrating and everything on TV. You believe it, people? If you know what's good for you, don't believe nothing that come from those regions, period. If you're smart, don't believe shit from there. Don't let them pull on your heartstring with nothing from there. You understand that? Just take that shit with a grain of salt.
It is fakery, 100%. They give you nothing real from the Middle East, including Israel. We're visiting fake on. when Hamas attacked mm -hmm. remain what unaccounted for fakery. as hostages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Behind every release, a poignant reminder. Mm -hmm. Look at this uh, right here, people. All women and all, all kids and all ladies. That's who they, they are mass kidnap. How they get a hold of these special people, people? How did they get a hold of these children? As soon as they attack, they find only women and children. Where was the males? It make no sense, people. What happened? I guess they kill the males and take the females, babies and everything. It's fake shit. Those left behind. Like the family of Omri Almo. Seven three on the His shirt. His brother-in-law and niece killed. What I say? I said it's seven three on the shirt for fakery. That's all you need to know. Nothing real about these pogamins. That's what they call them. Like I say, it's a trick we they got for the masses. Rumors of war. And yes, it's going to stir you up no matter where you're at in the world. This is a worldwide trick. It's going to affect everybody. His Pay sister attention. and her three children mm -hmm. still Look hostages. Look at them. Why are they posting Yet up? Omri is now optimistic. The best is in the front of us. Mm -hmm. It's going to come. Whatever happened, we cannot change. Mm -hmm. Nadav is, is not longer with us. Siam, the beautiful girl, mm -hmm. is, is not with us anymore. But there's still a chance. What still a, a chance here, sister. sister. Yes. And you got them yes. on, on the shirt. We have to bring what left. We need to bring back what left from this family. Mm -hmm. It's a broken family. A broken family Look at this shit, in people. a country of shattered lives. Mm -mm. Pull on your heart string all Matthew over the Jess world. Is joining me live here in mm -hmm. Tel Aviv right now. And so of course he's joining you live in Tel Aviv. How, they, how you confirm that they're in Tel Aviv, they show you that in the background. Wow, unbelievable. Like I say, if you believe in the news, you're looking stupid. The news is fake with people. It build up off deep fake. That's where deep fake come from. TV. Now they introduce it to the deep fake and say, look what they've been doing. Who? Who used to do it? You show us the deep fake and say, look, they can manipulate videos. They can make it look like Donald Trump talking and it's not him. They can put on this show. He can cause all of this shit. Where did this come from? They never tell you. Where is that technology come from? That's what they use for the news. That's what they use to deceive you the whole time. Now they're telling you, look, we can show you that, hey, people can manipulate you with videos. That's what they do on TV. TV screens is a hoax. You can't believe shit that come on there. They all fabricated and made up. Green screen and all. And CGI. They used to fool the masses. Watch this right here. Well, Matthew, what do we know about what is expected to happen tomorrow? Mm -hmm. uh, well, we think to happen. Well, this it's is... going to mm -hmm. um, follow a similar kind of course already. Mm -hmm. uh, the Israeli officials that we've spoken to said that mm -hmm. Mossad and the Israeli military have received mm -hmm. a list. Uh, of, of potential hostage releases uh, four, four, from uh, Hamas by the mediators mm -hmm. uh, in Qatar. They have mm -hmm. told us who's on the list, of course. We don't even know how many names are on that list. Mm -hmm. It's going to be between 10 and 13, uh, like it was today. But Israeli officials say that they've already informed the families involved so they can be prepared mm -hmm. um, to you know, welcome back their loved ones. You hear that, people? So I guess, listen, I guess those Hamas know the people's name and everything. They know who they are, the ones they kidnapped. So when they tell the Israelites, yes, we're gonna replace, we're gonna bring them back. Yes, the Israelites government can tell the, the peoples, the family of those kidnapped people that hey, prepare to greet your family coming back home. You believe that people? How did that happen? So you're telling me that the Hamas know these people exactly who they have, name and all? Come on, people, this is bullshit. How can they report it to the family that yes, they're gonna get their peoples back? Who? Wow, unbelievable remember fake that shit. The events of today, the pause in the fighting, uh, mm -hmm. the releases of the... How of did the... you pause a real fight, people? These are people who hate each other and want to kill each other so bad they will go in another country in a power glider to kidnap women and kids. Why would you pause the war for what? How would you do that, people? What side you get to cooperate? enough to stop the war after you you come in my country and kidnap these people and you you come in my country and come kill all these people in hospitals and all these things and how you gonna get a ceasefire how you gonna stop them from fighting remember what is a fight people we're not talking about boxing in a ring that's not a real fight you understand there's no fight with a referee and if you don't have a referee how the fuck you have a ceasefire 
you don't get it people nothing is real after that you understand that so yes you're watching a boxing match it's all set up if you notice they got gloves on so when they hit the other person in the face it won't be directly from the fist it won't be directly from the hand you understand the sponge <laughs> they pad up all of these shits on the hand and then they give them a sponge gloves to box each other you understand then later on they show you one of them bleeding all fake shit for the dumb masses so yes there's a referee in a fight it's an organized fake fight you understand that okay so yes if you can cease fire to stop the fight for any damn reason there is a referee and they show you Joe Biden taking credit for it. Yes, he's the one who happens to let them cease fire and all. So the hostages can go home safe. What a dumb shit for the masses. And don't worry about it. It's hostages from both sides. <laughs> you have to understand. Israel also have amassed people as hostage, supposedly. Listen. Hostages and the prisoners from Israeli jails, as well as the humanitarian relief, mm -hmm. it went remarkably well. Yes, of so course. I think the hope is that that can be repeated Only again in show. Uh, and again. Let's hope it does get repeated mm -hmm. and these yes. hostages are able to come home. Mm -hmm. Matthew, thank you very much, Matthew Chess, mm -hmm. for reporting. I want to go to CNN's Oren Lieberman right now. Mm -hmm. He's over at the Wolfson Medical Center here in Tel Aviv. Oren, uh -huh. I know you're at this hospital where All of y'all in Tel Aviv right now? What a damn joke, people. Anywhere there's supposed to be drama at these people there, right there in the flesh, to show you and bring you the whole thing. And I'm going to ask you one more question again. Why these people need to be there to report this shit as it's going on? That to show you. That's one thing that show you that it is a hoax. It's just a show for the people. Just an entertainment for them. Dragging them all over the place. Your emotion high, your emotion low. They control you, period. So that's why they bring you this show. If it was real life, they don't need to bring you it right away. They need to let the fucking shit done, smoke clear and all, and then they can bring you what happened there. They have no business there while it's going on. It's almost like a mass shooting going on. And guess what? Reporters in there reporting it and show you this man shooting over here, this man, and they're over there with the camera watching the whole thing just like they're showing the war. Why not? Why they have to show you these people in the middle of the war to bring it to you? Because it is a 100% show. Nothing about it real. Move. First you thought everybody was stupid until you see this mad bit of truth. Bam. Now pay attention to the celebration with them flashing the Baphomet sign and everything with the supposed release of these prisoners. Pay attention here, people. The whole thing is just a show for the masses. Look right here, party time. Look at this. Pay attention. Mm -hmm. Waving flags and everything. Mm -hmm. All phones out, people. Remember, these are hostages getting released. As you could see this right here, they're celebrating because the hostages release. Pay attention with all cell phones. 100% fake shit for the masses. You see that? Pay attention. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to this right here, people. Take a look at this fake shit right here. They're supposed to be prisoners and now they release. So, yes, they're greeting each other right there. Pay attention to this fake shit. Watch this, people. Mm -hmm. You're getting released. Take a look at this right here, people. So they're releasing them right there and they're celebrating in the middle of a war. A matter of fact, they stop the war to basically bring you this right here. Do you believe it? Wow. It's just gone midnight here in uh, Tel Aviv mm -hmm. where 
Around 15 minutes ago, uh, mm -hmm. we were told Go that back. Tel Aviv, where Go back. it's just gone midnight here in mm -hmm. uh, Tel Aviv, where around 15 minutes ago, okay. uh, we were told. You get the 12 for your number 315, number 636 is called in. To that, mm -hmm. 13 hostages mm -hmm. were released. No, it's 13. Uh, they include mm -hmm. uh, Emily Hand, Look at this uh, a nine-year-old. Nine-year-old. Remember, they show you a nine-year-old boy in the hat. In the colorful hat just to let you know yes these people was held hostage take a look at them they're too clean to be hostages they take some clean clothes with these hostages people come on Good girl wake your eyes uh, she's up. an irish mm -hmm. israeli national whose father yes look at these people take a look at these terrorists they're bringing back these people in christmas sweaters and all do you believe it people i'm done okay so yes we're gonna put a closing to this fakery that they use to pollute your mind and your brain. We're putting a closure to it right now to show you that it's just a show. They got water bottle in hand, okay, fine. You give them water because you're releasing them back. What's up with the Christmas sweater, people? Unbelievable bullshit. Why would they be so clean? And yes, to traumatize you. Yes, the Hamas got on the same fatigue suit like any soldiers in the world. They got fatigue. The only difference is they mask up. Just like the, the police in America that capture these people like El Chapo and them. They wear the same mask, wear the same fatigue suit as these people that they show you. They are a mask terrorist. You got it? It's just a show. All of it is 100% in. And like I mentioned before, if you're one of them that believe anything come from the Middle East, you might as well classify yourself as dumb. 100% fake shit. They bring you from there every fucking time. Mm -hmm. Look at this. All these people clean, holding hands, people, with the terrorists that hold them hostage. They're holding their hands, walking them all the way to give them back to the so-called Israelites. Look at this right here, people, and tell me if you believe it. Because it is an IQ check on the bit of truth to check how far, how far your IQ is. How, how deeply you think about these things. How far would they go to fool you right here, people? How far would they go? This is a damn show right here. No doubt about it. Uh, Tom was incredibly mm -hmm. concerned. Look at them. They're holding hands. Yes, and the rabbit on the shirt. That's a rabbit ears. Wow, unbelievable. Like I said, these are the cleanest people you're going to see in your life that was held captive. And they're holding hand with the people who captured them right there. Do you believe it? Unbelievable. And like I said, you can't pass the fact that they're too clean. Too old lasted for over 40-something days, people. From October 7th till today, they hold these people hostage. Look how clean they are, people unbelievable dumb shit and since they show you footage of the kidnapped peoples you tell me if they're in the same clothing okay uh, when we talk to him mm -hmm. um, look at this right here people uh, look when at we this. talk to him what is this people is this the red cross right there like i said they have to show up the devil signs 100 percent. so that's the red cross there bumping shoulder with the with the terrorist group amass so they can get back these prisoners that they took from Israel. This is the fakest shit in the uh, world. That we didn't do anything that might jeopardize. What Look was at to this happen. right here, people. All of them got on pajamas, you know, Christmas sweaters, and they're too clean, man. Unbelievable. Maybe they should stay with the terrorist people. They look too clean. They treat them that good. Oh, <laughs> that we didn't do anything. Look at them people. They're laughing. You held hostage 40 something days, now you're kicking it with the hostage taker smiling. Unbelievable bullshit. And where they get pyjama people, that's how they kidnapped them 40 something days ago? <laughs> Nobody can answer these questions. The whole thing is busted. Like I say, I even see them saying that it's the end that is supposed to be Ukraine and, and Russia war now. And I told you already, the only way they can put a closing on that one, for them to bring another one up that bigger, and that's it right here.
where they tell you innocent people dying, innocent people got kidnapping. The whole thing is a stage. Look at this. Hours. What is it got in the hand? Is that chips? Is that food? What is it? Gatorade? Unbelievable dumb shit, people. Wake your ass up with a bam. Why are they laughing? Hours. Look, they saying bye to the terrorist people. <laughs> I'm done. This is too fake. So yeah, people, the capturers, you're yeah, saying bye to the people that they capture. Look at them. They're laughing, people. Yes, these are the ones that let you cry earlier. Oh, these people got kidnapped. Oh, these poor kids and everything. They're the one who laughing at you now, doping the delight. They all fake people, 100% in. No, it's what was to happen wow. in the following hours. Look at this. I got to use this for the thumbnail. There's no way they get away with this, people. Look at this. The people that was held captive waving to the capturer. No way. Excuse us as a thumbnail. What a damn joke, people. Clearly Look at this. <laughs> the thing's clean pajamas. The pajamas is too clean, people, and they're too happy. Wow, what was you feeding these hostages? Unbelievable, people. Wow. Second Look at this, yeah, bye. Look at this right here. They have some of them. On crutches. What happened? You heard them? I'm asking a question. So the Hamas hurt these people. That's why they need the, 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 the crutches right there. Or they took them on crutches? Come on, people. It's dumb. For you to kidnap all these old people and children, it's more responsibility. Because you want to keep them clean. <laughs> you want to feed them. You want to give them medicine. You want to do all that. Why would you kidnap those vulnerable peoples that going to need too much attention from you? You take the whole people, they can't help themselves. You take the, 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 the babies who can't help themselves, you're putting more work on you. Then you have to keep them healthy and clean and take care of them so you can give them back brand new. Fake <laughs> Tom's fears. Look at these people. To be very well founded, wow, bye. Um, Hamas. Mm -hmm. And Israel. Look, look, people, the whole thing is just so. Wow, pulling on your heart, Jim. Bye. Hamas and Israel wrangled at the death mm -hmm. uh, as the Wake deal uh, began to unfold at around 4 p.m. Look at this people. Um, that 4 p.m. deadline Wake when up. the hostages were supposed to be handed over uh -huh. uh, by the Red Cross mm -hmm. at the Carl Yunis checkpoint. Look at them. Thumbs up, people. And don't worry about it. These are the ones. From supposedly the Hamas or Palestinians that the Israelites hold hostage. So they let them go hostage. Yes, and the Israelites. The Israelites let them go hostage that they hold. And the Hamas also doing the same. Ceasefire and all in a war is fake shit. Uh, fell through. Mm -hmm. uh, it was cross. many, many hours later mm -hmm. before finally Emily was released mm -hmm. but thankfully Emily's now in safe hands and looking forward to being reunited with her father mm -hmm. very very shortly look at this shit right here people the Red Cross is the world police <laughs> are they the referee I guess they're the referee the Red Cross people you believe them the ones that take in your blood on a false pretense they're the one who got these hostages free what a dumb shit. I told you, the Red Cross run the whole wide world. It's a world government shit. You have to understand. Remember, they take blood from everybody. Every part of the earth. You have to remember that now they're coming freeing hostages in this fake mm -hmm. What a dumb shit. Mm -hmm. ואנחנו נעדכן את המשפחות והציבור שדברים יקרו. נדרש להתאזר בסבלנות, mm -hmm. יש התקדמות משמעותית, mm -hmm. אנחנו נעדכן את הציבור. I guess once you heist that red cross sign or the flag, they won't shoot at you. You're in the middle, you're the referee, you're not the enemy if you have the red cross, you know, flag heisting or rolling in the vehicle. What a dumb shit for the masses, it is fake shit. 100% in. This is the 49th day. Yes, 49 again. 49, 36 called in. But pay attention to this guy right here. He's an Israelite soldier. And of course, they're filming him live to show you the whole thing. 
bring you the war from their perspective while they at war. I told you it's fucking fake. Listen. As the Israel war, mm -hmm. and the first day, mm -hmm. the Israel Hamas Listen. ceasefire. Take a look at this right here. These are the Hamas in their gear and everything. He's the one who's showing you, and he's an Israelite soldier. Like I say, people, how did they do this? How did they get away with this? So yes, an Israelite soldier is a, is a reporter. He's doing the work of a reporter while he's fighting. So yes, he got report and he have footage of these people, the Hamas soldiers. Pay attention. I'm Yair Pinto, mm -hmm. reporting to you from Israel. You see, Since 7 a.m. this mm -hmm. morning, Listen. Israel time, the mm -hmm. IDF entered into a ceasefire mm -hmm. with Listen. Hamas in the... There you go, there go the Hamas. They enter into a ceasefire with them. And like I said, they are spokesmen for the Hamas. They not, they don't call them terrorists. The leaders, the leader of the Hamas, the spokesperson and them, they can come talk to anybody. What is that about people? Like I mentioned, they only destroying the people. All of these Hamas, they showing you all Hamas and this and that, and they can come make speech. They don't want to kill them. They're not enemies of them. It's just the people. What kind of dumb shit is that? So they're showing you them right here, reading and everything. I guess they have a Quran. They have to show you these things because it's part of the mind fuck bullshit that they sell you. So yes, they have to show you them with Bible, the Quran, and of, and of course they have the gun in the lap in the same time and they're chilling the right strip here. Pay attention. It's part of a deal All that was struck to release some 50 Israeli civilians that? that were kept hostage uh -huh. by Hamas uh -huh. in exchange for the release of 150 Palestinian prisoners. So you see that, people? Pay attention to this. First of all, it was a mass attack Israel and kidnap these citizens. So listen, now they're showing you that Israel have all of these prisoners from Palestinian, Palestinian prisoners, and now they're exchanging them. 50 for 150. You believe that, people? So yes, the Israelites, the Israelites is only 50 of them they're going to let go for 150 Palestinians. You believe it that they have as prisoners already. They're showing you this foggy video and show you that's them right there. It's nothing but fake shit for the masses. And why everything they show you look like it's in 90s, people? Why? These tie up face in the, in the same clothing don't tell me that it's not a Haitian days fuckery. They're showing you right here. None of it look like it's modern. What's wrong here, people? <laughs> look at this right here. By Hamas mm -hmm. in exchange fake. for the release look of 150 this. Palestinian prisoners wow. from Israeli prisons. Mm -hmm. 15 Israeli hostages 15. are expected to be released today. 15? 15 Israeli... Okay, 15 people, 15. I thought they said 50, 15, number 6. Yes, they're going to release for 150. Same number six, coding one and five. Pay attention. The hostages are expected to be released today. So bring Mainly them home now. Look at these people. And children. Where did they get these children from? They're coming on power glider. Where did they get these children from, people? Did they attack a children's hospital to get these kids? Where did they get them from, people? How can you attack a place, just jump in a country, and you find all of these youths and women just to pick them up and go with them and hold them hostage? It don't make no sense. Why did you believe it? Since the early hours the of the morning, mm -hmm. the Israeli Air Force has been flying above the skies mm -hmm. of the Gaza Strip uh -huh. and dispersing flyers that Listen. call Listen. on the civilian population uh -huh. of the Gaza Strip uh -huh. not to return to their homes in northern Gaza. Look at this shit right here, people. They fly over the place and the people that attack them, supposedly. Why they don't shoot you down with a rocket propeller grenade? Why not? This is the dumbest shit in the world. So, yes, people, they're dropping flyers to tell the people what to do. Even though this is Palestine right here, Israelites come dropping our flyers to tell them what to do. Go back. Listen. Not to return to their homes uh -huh. in northern Gaza mm -hmm. because the war is not over. Yeah, that. Not to return because the war is not over. They just take a pause so they can exchange some prisoners and hostage. So the war is not over. So they have to make sure they send them some flyers with note to let them know the war is not over. Don't go back home. 
It's just a ceasefire force to exchange its prisoners. What a dumb shit they call war. Hamas, on the other hand, look, Hamas has been on the phone, people. It's not oh, over. How oh, did you? Get, I don't understand. How oh, did you obtain this photo? Where did you get this picture from? Okay, so the Hamas released these right here with them talking on the phone, making negotiation to release prisoners. This is the 100% fakest shit I ever seen in my life, people. It is the fakest shit I ever seen and brought forth for real. Take a look at this. How would they have all these information from the Hamas, even them talking on the phone, making the supposed agreement? On the other hand, look at this. has been telling look, people, its population. They show you in the hole where the Hamas them at. I guess that's one of the tunnels they dig under the hospital. The whole wide world is dumb now. Its population, that the war is look. over. Look at this, people. Has been telling I'm going to ask you one question. Just answer me this. Why did he flash the devil horns? Why? Okay, so we in another country. How did he know about the devil horns, people? <laughs> you don't get it, man. Look Over. at this shit right there. That's it. That's not the Baphomet. That's the devil horns. The pinky and the index right there. Do you got it? Unbelievable dumb shit. They're giving the masses. Don't believe nothing you see on screen, people. It's all devil work. Don't doubt. And that it has won. TV. Again. Look at this TV, people. Is that for Tel Aviv or that for Tel Aviv, John? I told you, people, they're full of shit on the masses. Israel. Hamas is spreading lies mm -hmm. in an attempt to have the Palestinian civilian population uh -huh. return to their homes, Listen. making it very hard for Israel to resume the fighting after... So you hear that, people? So that's the reason why they send them flyers to tell them don't go back home because it's going to be harder for us to continue the war later because now you're going back home and we don't want to kill you. <laughs> we want to bomb the place, but we don't want to kill you. We want to blow up your home, but we don't want to kill you. So guess what? Don't go in the home because the war is not over. We just stop it for a second the referees and then pause it for a second. Don't go back home. It's not over. Dumb on. Ceasefire is concluded. Mm -hmm. Hamas is pursuing with its methods of using the civilian population mm -hmm. of the Gaza Strip, uh -huh. the Palestinians. I you that uh -huh. these Palestinians are the Hamas. They're using their own people as human shields. And they got the Israelites right there as prisoners. So you take all these Israelites as prisoners... You keep them clean, you keep them safe so you can give them back. But you use your own people as human shields. That don't make no sense, people. How did you buy this? Like I said, they have to tell you these things about terrorists. They use kids as human shields, all fake for the masses. They have power gliders. They have all these uh, sophisticated weapons. They can, they can build these tunnels, these classy tunnels and all of these things. But they don't have bulletproof vests. They don't have nothing to stop bullets. But they have to use people for human shields. You believe it? And like I say, they only want to use their people, not the Israelites that they capture. Is that dumb? 100% in your whole hands with the Israelites and bring them back clean. Give them new sweaters and everything. Keep them clean. Give them medicine. And then you use your own people as human shield. Fake the fuck out. And it continues mm -hmm. with spreading its lies yeah, to the international community uh -huh. and to its own people. Yes, but what they used to spread this lie, how did they get a platform to pitch from? Where is the platform? How did you see Hamas posting all of these videos? Where they post it? How they get their message across, people? How can they get other people to be involved in this shit from where across where they at? How did they do it, people? How can they have all these reports, everything that the Hamas say and everything, everything they do, even get up a, 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 a communication with them enough for them to exchange prisoners? No, people, this is bullshit. 100% you know, like I say, it's a war against the regular people in those areas, not government. They're the one who fight us. The IDF and the government the IDF. are making Look it them. very clear that mm -hmm. this war Listen. is far from being over. You hear that? The war will continue mm -hmm. until Hamas is completely destroyed. You hear that, people? They're not going to stop until the Hamas is completely destroyed. The Hamas is a hoax, people. These people that they show you, 
is fake. Remember when they used to show you those people they call ISIS with the same mask on and give you green screen with them cutting people head off on CNN? The whole thing is a hoax, people. Everything they tell you about terrorists is fake shit for the dumb masses. Yes, kind of give you something to think about in this devil earth. You have to worry about terrorists. You have to worry about viruses. You have to worry about every damn thing in this satanic place that you live. So pay attention. Nothing is true. Just scare tactics for the dumb people here. Until Hamas mm -hmm. is completely destroyed. And mm -hmm. until the IDF will return all mm -hmm. of the Israeli hostages yes, back course. home. Mm -hmm. But you're exchanging prisoners. You're basically giving back the Hamas. These soldiers, supposedly, that means it's terrorists. Pay attention. Then ever, we need your help in sharing Listen. the truth to the rest of the world. Uh -huh. we what is the truth, people? So they show you some things on TV that they tell you is truth and they want you to help them share it. <laughs> the same damn people, people, is them. The same government operators right here in front of you. They're the one who convinced you of a war in the first place. Why they destroy those people in those regions. The world to mm -hmm. see that we are fighting mm -hmm. a terror organization. Bullshit people, it's fake shit. There is no such thing as no terrorists. It's something they used to scare the masses right here on earth. Showing you these things that happen in the Middle East where you can't prove it. It's fake shit. Seeks to destroy mm -hmm. Israel no matter what. Mm -hmm. It does not care about its own civilian. Yes, and it's the same thing they just tell you. Israelites, they're not going to stop until they kill all the Hamas soldiers. So it's the same thing when they tell you Hamas want to destroy Israel. It's the same fucking shit. They tell you Israel want to destroy them. They want to destroy Israel. That's what they used to set up. this fake war from back in the days, fooling the masses and destroying them in the meantime. Population. Mm -hmm. It is not protecting Palestine or the Palestinians. Mm -hmm. It only cares about destroying Israel and spreading its evil ideology to the entire world. It's bullshit. So that's what the Hamas want, to kill Israelites and spread their, their propaganda or whatever they want to spread across the whole wide world. What a dumb shit for the masses. And like I say, people, don't believe in none of these things that they show you. Not even close to being real. The whole thing is fabricated and brought to you on tell live vision. If we do not mm -hmm. stop Hamas here mm -hmm. in Israel, it will spread to the entire world. Here it will go. reach the mm -hmm. United States. There you go. It will reach Europe. See? So we uh -huh. need your help. That's why I tell you people is a scare tactics. What they need your help for. They need money. What they need from you. They need you to participate in it. That's it. They don't have these world events that they don't want you to be involved in it. They want you to be in it head and toe, all the way in. Yes, because they're selling you a fake shit to bend and twist you to where they want you to be. That's all it is, people. It's all programming for the masses with the rumors of war. They won't tell you that they're actually destroying those people right there in those regions with no reason behind it but the destruction of the people's Got nothing to do with two countries warring against or fighting against each other. All set up for the dumb masses. Yes, another Mag Bam podcast, man. Appreciate everybody for taking it in. We'll be back on on Tuesday with the word Radio Virgin. Pay attention. I'm on the run.